This is NBC 10 News Today. Morning. While many students are heading back to the everyday routine of school, there are some students experiencing something a little different this year. I want to tell you that there are students in Philadelphia who are actually already using technology as part of their education. And in fact, yesterday I had a chance to spend some time with a family who's using technology in a very unconventional way. Well, welcome to class today. This Frankfurt home seems an unlikely place to hear a teacher's voice until you walk in. Good morning, Kyra. That's where you'll find 10-year-old Kyra Lewis in what's supposed to be the dining room of her home. It's now a classroom. If you could give me a little smiley face, if my volume is at a level that you can hear me clearly, that would be wonderful. Kyra's teacher is sitting in her Berks County home, teaching students like Kyra using a computer. Today we are going to define and identify personal pronouns. A personal pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. A haven for travelers. Kyra also gets help from her grandmother. Kyra and her brother David are students at the Pennsylvania Virtual Charter School. It's made up of 4,000 students throughout the state, most of whom have never met each other. But this isn't your typical homeschooling experience. What I like about doing school this way is lots of communication. You get lots of communication with your teachers. The word they is taking the place of a noun. When they do go online, it's just like walking inside of a classroom. But the difference is it's a click of a mouse opposed to the blackboard and the teacher. One of the ways the virtual charter school district makes it easier for families is they provide all of the course materials, for instance, things like books and even science labs. It takes the guesswork out for me. I, I didn't have to actually sit down and plan lessons. It's more of a challenge for me in other schools. I get more, I can learn more. Kyra, I'm going to ask you, could you tell me... What um, these students aren't getting is face-to-face -face interaction with teachers and other students in the classroom. The virtual school CEO says they have monthly field trips, clubs, and sports teams to make up for that. We have science fairs, we have spelling bees, so uh, no, um, they, they don't miss out on the clubs. Is there another personal pronoun? The Lewis kids say they may be schooled at home, but they're learning lessons for life. Outstanding, Kyra. And Kyra says that she wants to become a doctor. Her brother, David, wants to become a lawyer. By the way, the virtual charter school is one of 13 schools of its kind throughout the state. This is NBC 10 News Today.